One interesting use case which we saw at Browse Use is that people take a really ugly UI, for example, from a ban bank which didn't update their UI for the last 20 years. And then they built a fancy UI where the end user can fill out the fancy UI, which looks super cool and intuitive. And then they take browser use to fill out the ugly UI. So they replace ugly UIs. And I started to think myself, for example, if I go to Photoshop for the first time and there are millions of buttons, I have no clue where to press on. So why can't we just generate UIs on the fly based on context? For example, based on if you're there the first time or based on some prompts, what you want to do. And currently one website has one UI for millions of users. But in theory, you could have hundreds of websites or hundreds of different UIs for each user based on their context and based on their preferences. Yes, I could totally see as a user of a website, you know, I might have certain things that I like, you know, as far as my preferences and styles. So why do I have to use the same website as Magnus? I might not like the same things as Magnus or like the same design aesthetic. You know, maybe my aesthetic is better than his or maybe his is better than mine. I don't know. But you almost can then use the agent is or the AI is almost like an intermediary between the actual website itself and what I see. That's a pretty cool idea. So what, what, what is this called? Like generative UI? What, what would we yeah, call this? Generate, generate UIs on the fly based on, on user preferences. Someone needs to make that happen.